Dr. Martin, you know, you as a surgeon, you're sort of the cause for the artificial bowel outlet. May it be a small or even a large bowel outlet. When do you talk to them uh, about the, the consequences they will have as regards nutrition? Do you do this after or even before the operation? And how do, do you, and to whom, uh, with whom would you work together on that? So actually, uh, let me tell you for sure, you should talk to the patients before the operations. But actually, actually. <laughs> sometimes we do that. <laughs> actually, um, sometimes you can't. In, a, in an emergency operation, you can't. And actually, you should, surgeons should not talk too much to the patients because actually, you are the, the, the profi. Yeah, I know, I, I make the stoma and I um, just know about the consequences, but how to deal with it, how is nutrition and how is, this is not the business of every surgeon and unfortunately, surgeons have to less knowledge about that. So the most appropriate thing would be to come together to the patient with a stoma therapist. It should be a very good therapist and uh, in my view, the, the best therapist is that when you have a stoma therapy, nutrition should be included in the learning in the study process. But then you can really treat and heal the pay and help the patients and maybe sometimes heal it if I take it back. But um, it's very, very important that information for the patient starts before operation. I have some uh, patients, for example, when you operate a rectal cancer, they won't let doing the operations that if I get a stoma, I won't want the operation and I'd rather live with the cancer. And so it's very important to give an early information and information which the patient understands. And it's not only surgical English, it's, it's really life quality you have to talk about. And when you have an emergency operation, for example, and the patient gets a short bowel syndrome, then it's, it's even more important that directly after the uh, operation, before um, sending the patient to a reha clinic or something like that, you should talk to him that, for example, when you have too much stool, when you have diarrhea every time and you have a short bowel syndrome, you are not allowed to drink more and more and more because this is what the doctor says. If you have more, you should drink more and more. But this, in, in case of the short bowel operation, this is not the case because you lose more weight. Absolutely. So you have to reduce drinking uh, and you have to see uh, how to work with it.